Gator Pitter, Texas. Rich Robin. Yesterday I did a video on this Meat Slinger 36 hybrid, which basically is a pellet smoker and also an offset stick burner in one vertical smoker. Yesterday it was the pellet hopper I fired up, the pellet pro, smoke daddy pellet pro hopper I fired up. And uh, you can find that video on my YouTube channel. Uh, it was again uh, shot yesterday on the 21st. And today, here we are, 9:22, shooting a video uh, with the offset going right now. So I've got some post oak in there. I believe that's post oak, and my gas assist burner going to ignite it. Once that wood gets going, uh, I'm going to turn the gas off and close my door, keep my vent open, and uh, let it run. I got my stack halfway open, and we're going to see what happens with the offset attached to this meat slinger 36 hybrid meaning it's a pellet smoker and an offset stick burner as well in one cooker and some people may say well, why do you have that why not have the best of both worlds not only that this can work as a backup to something that's electronic what if i lose power what if something happens to that right it's got fans and augers and heating rods in there what happens if something were to happen and I'm in the middle of a cook, I'm in the middle of a catering job and I don't have the means to fix that available immediately but man I can sure throw some charcoal or some lump or some wood logs in here and keep my cook going and not have downtime or have to call my client and say hey I'm sorry but my machine, my cooking apparatus is dead and I can't finish the job. Not a good thing to tell your client when you're catering. So, I've got the means to do anything I want to do, however I want to do it. Man, that smells good, that ain't a lot. It's got a good little breeze blowing today, and it smells good coming out of that firebox. It's pretty dry wood too, man. It, 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 I mean, this thing ain't been going well since the video, literally. I fired it up and turned the video on, and it's already igniting. Uh, I don't see any oozing coming out the side of that one up there yet, which means it's probably pretty darn dry. You see liquid oozing out the sides where you where it's been, been split or cut. You got green wood, and green wood doesn't doesn't like too good, and it doesn't cook very well. It doesn't uh, keep temperature. Uh, so far, I don't see that happening. So I think we've got some pretty decent wood here uh, from our wood supplier. Yeah, I'm gonna let it go for a little about a little longer, and then I'm gonna turn that thing off. I'm gonna close my door just a little bit. See if it stays open with the wind, I doubt it. The wind's gonna blow it, yep. That's all good though. I'm not worried about getting this to temperature right now. I'm gonna get my fire going, then I can close my door, and then we're gonna have to see that, those gauges climbing. Get a good fire going in there. I don't like to close my door when I got my gas going. That gas assist is exactly what it means. Gas assist is to get your initial fire going. Just to bump temperature up and should you have lost your fire for whatever reason uh, it's to help you main get the temp maintain temp and then turn it off shut it down so let's just say i walked away for three hours i came back and all i got is just some ash part down there and i've got the food there and i'm cooking and i wouldn't plan on being gone for three hours and i don't have any heat i can throw my logs in there like a, like i'm doing an initial startup turn my gas on and get back to temp pretty darn quick leaving that gas on You can see it pulling that flame that way. This drafter, man, I think it's going to draft perfectly. Yeah, I'm kind of sucking that flame in that way. Yeah, I like that. Gator pit, baby. Gator pit. Love it. All right, I'm going to shut it off. Let's uh, come back later on and see what happens. Alright guys, we're just walking out of here to see what this thing's looking like. I'm letting it burn out because we're getting uh, close to closing time, but let's see what the inside looks like as far as seasoning. Ah, I love it with that golden color, man. All those grapes have turned gold. Yes sir, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, oil's starting to dry. About three, four, five more cups is going to be perfectly seasoned. It's seasoned enough now if I want to put some meat on it, I could start cooking. But the longer these things cook, the more cooks you get into them, the better they get. Let's step back so you can look at it. Yeah, that's what you want with those grapes changing colors on you like that. It looks like silver gray look, brand new, to now a golden color. That's that oil bacon. 
cooking. Get the firebox going. Like I said, we're letting it die out. And it's dying out. Good seconds, guys. Meat Singer 36 Hybrid. Pellet hopper and offset stick burner. One cooker. With some nice uh, custom artwork on it. God bless America. Red, white, and blue, baby.